So I'm prompted for remote management and my Okta cloud identity credentials. Securely verifying my identity is the foundation of this entire onboarding experience. It makes sure that I get the right configurations needed for my role. We understand that a one-size-fits-all onboarding experience doesn't work for everyone. And I'm glad that I'll be able to get the right access and the right configurations for my role. So I've now completed the setup assistant, and I'm going to enter my password once again to create my local user account. You, what you can't see here is that Jamf Connect login is also enabling FileVault full disk encryption on the back end. Setting up FileVault usually requires you to log out and log back in. So this is a great seamless experience. I'm getting my Mac set up with no delays. So I'm gonna head on over to email to see if I have any waiting for me since my first day. Ah, I've seen this type of message before. And it's because my company uses zero trust networking access to secure its corporate resources. Now I just gotta figure out a way to connect. I wish there was a way that I could get to things that I need without having to log on and off a of VPN over and over again. But there is a way, and it's called Jamf Trust. So I'm gonna go open Jamf Trust now that was automatically installed in my machine. Jamf Trust provides unified cloud security and connectivity for workers and it ensures a secure connection to safely access all business applications. With Jamf Trust enabled, I'm now able to get to my email without any extra connectivity steps. So my IT team has also provisioned the Okta Verify app to run a single sign-on extension. It's quick and easy to set up, and once configured, I'll simply be able to use Touch ID on my Mac to access my company applications. So now my email is set up, but I wanna go see more apps. So let's head on over to self-service. So once I sign in with Touch ID, I can see all the applications available to me. All these applications were curated to keep me productive at work. I can install my own apps, and these can be third-party apps, App Store apps, Mac OS, iOS, it doesn't matter. And speaking of apps, Jamf now monitors over 1,000 software titles and has made over 100 available as app installers to ensure that the most commonly used apps can be auto-updated. With app installers, Jamf sources, validates, packages, and hosts each new version of an app to allow for IT to quickly and efficiently deploy updates to any computers within its scope. This saves time for IT and ensures that users always have the latest features and fixes for their applications. And I'm excited to announce that in the first half of next year, you'll be able to make app installers available for users through Jamf self-service, allowing users to take advantage of even more app installers from Jamf. App installers are built with balancing both the end user experience and your organization's security needs in mind. No user wants to be in the middle of using an application and have it quit on them in the middle of things just so that installation can happen. But at a certain point, we all know we need to update that app. So I'm pleased to share with you that you soon will be able to take advantage of end user notifications via app installers as well. Users will see a notification if the application is running on their machine when an installation is being triggered. Each managed app can have up to three variables that an admin can configure. The first being the customized message that you wish to display to the end user. The second being the frequency at which this message will be displayed. And then finally, the third message is the deadline for when the user must quit the application to allow for the update to be performed. And speaking of user notifications, I know that Jamf Protect is constantly on the lookout for threats and security concerns on my machine. I will get notifications from both Jamf Protect 
and Jamf Trust if threats are detected or if I need to take actions as an end user.